Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. So this will be a bi-weekly reading for the sign of Aries. Now this will be broken up into two parts. It will be love, then it will be career and finance, and then closing off with a angel answers oracle. So if you have a question, then you can ask this question as we get closer to the end of the reading, and uh, we'll get some advice, some guidance uh, from spirit. Okay, guys. So this bi-weekly reading will be for the 1st to the 16th of July, 2023. Now we're using this deck here called the Modern Witch Tarot. So let's get into this, shall we? So angels of love and light, can we please get clear and concise messages for Aries? What are they needing to know in relation to their love uh, situation here with the 1st to the 16th of July, 2023? Now, guys. How I will read this is that on here, I will have, how's your love interest feeling? How's your love interest feeling in regards to the connection? And then we'll do this for you over here. And then the mutual energy in the middle, but obviously this can be switched around. Also guys, with this love portion of the reading, I could be reading uh, for the airy sun, moon, rising or Venus placements for yourself or potentially this love interest. So the one that's on your mind. So please use your own sense of discernment with the messages and do not force of anything to fit. OK, so uh, one more shuffle, then we'll cut up the deck and get straight into it. So thank you for bearing with me. What can we get here, please? And thank you. Wow, beautiful energy to start off with, guys. The Ten of Pentacles. So um, Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There is someone who is thinking about the long term, okay? Thinking about the future. What would your future be like together, okay? You could be thinking of this as well, or the energy could be pretty getting pretty mutual, um, pretty similar, but... Maybe here with the Page of Cups in reverse, not much has been um, said about this. It's a, I'm, I'm getting a sense of a secret. Earth sign energy and maybe water sign energy could be significant. Cancer Scorpio, Pisces. But let's get some cards, shall we? Five of Wands. Seven of Swords, right, okay, with the Ace of Cups. Yeah, this is the thing. Looking at these cards, you feel like they're quite, um, you know, quite ominous, okay? You would think that it's probably not the best of cards to be looking at, but I feel that with the Ace of Cups, it brings a completely different meaning to uh, this message. So I'm going to pull a couple more and bearing this in mind, okay? I'm bearing this in mind. What else can we get here, please? How's the love interest feeling in regards to this connection, this love? Two of Pentacles wanted to show through, but it didn't come out. This person just may have a lot going on in their life right now. And it's like they want to be able to give to you and give to this connection, but potentially it may not even be physically possible right now. Okay, I was getting the word probable. It may not be even physically probable right now for this person to do of this. Okay, um, it's not the fact that they're not willing to come forward. More than anything, they want to come forward and especially sort things out with you. But I'm getting more to the lines that actually they just have so much happening. Yeah, look, with the seven of wands, I'm getting the overall impression that they're kind of keeping you at a distance right now. Not because they want to, but because they feel like they need to. There could be something happening um, where there may be a little bit of drama, okay? Um, but it's got nothing to do with you. So I feel like this person is actually trying to make sure that you're kind of staying out of their business here. Look at that. Queen of Wands energy. There's you guys. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a fellow fire sign for some of you with the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is the thing. This person does have you on their mind, okay? They know that you are their king to their queen, okay? their emperor to their empress, they know that you are their, um, their partner, okay, the one they want to be with, um, I feel ultimately you don't know that this person is putting in work behind the scenes in order to be able to come forward, I'm hearing with a very solid offer, I'm hearing a 555 could be significant, yeah, the hermit, Virgo energy, 
this person may have strong Virgo placements, or maybe you do, but with this hermit coming out, this signifies to me that this person um, is taking things slowly when it comes to you because they want to show you that they have matured. They want to show you that they're being very conscientious with how they approach with this connection, okay? Very strategic, but not in a way where it's coming across as, you know, sly or deceptive or manipulative. This person is actually changing their mindset, okay? And with the changes in their mindset, this is making a knock-on effect to how they are behaving. And this person is very passionate about this connection with you, okay? Yeah, look, five of swords in reverse, so 55, and I said earlier, 555 five, five could be significant. This person does not want any drama with you, okay? And they certainly don't want you to be in the thick of it with any drama that they potentially could be dealing with. And I'm not getting so much like an overall romantic drama, okay, if they're dealing with a karmic partner or a karmic ex, or if they were dating someone and they've gone through a breakup or a separation of sorts, okay, um, they may have done this, but if they haven't do, the, do this yet, okay, they've been thinking about doing this, they've been thinking about a way to leave, um, and they know that actually this may cause a little bit of upset and this person doesn't want you to kind of be involved um, if that is something that's the case. And the reason they don't want you to be involved is because I'm getting this overall impression that this person has a lot of feelings for you and it's like other people may say something along the lines of, well, you being around, you cause this person to do this, that and the third you may have said of some certain things to get this person to kind of leave someone else or do of this. And that's not true at all by any means. And so therefore, I feel like you're actually being protected right now by this person, even if on some level you don't feel like this person is showing you much care and consideration with the sense of how they're physically representing of themselves. But the way that they are spiritually coming through and emotionally coming through, if you do feel very deeply connected to this person, you know and have this overall sense that this message to be true, that actually they don't want you getting in harm's way, okay? And that this person does have a lot of respect for you, okay? As I say that with the Six of Cups, you know that this is deeper, okay? This is potentially soulmate energy, high level soulmate, past life connection, maybe even divine counterpart, uh, twin flame. So I feel that this person is thinking of you and they're wanting to make sure that when they do come forward, because I'm getting with an offer of sorts, um, there's not going to be any backlash or pushback or any more delays with something else that's being revealed or unveiled in their life okay and for it to kind of get the show on the road with you and then all of a sudden have these kind of blocks and then you don't get to where you want to get to and then for some reason you interpret them as not wanting to have more with you because they've come in and they've gone out again because something has been brought up it's like they just want to completely deal with it and just cut it all off completely like this person doesn't want to be where they're at right now with these people. Like, if they could have their alone time, okay, um, or have the alone time with you, that is ideally what they would love to have, okay? Yeah, they don't want to be a part of any kind of... Um, I'm kidding. I'm getting ish storm. I can't obviously swear, but I'm getting ish storm, and you'll get my drift on that. But how are you feeling in relation to love, okay? How are you feeling? Yeah, Page of Swords in Reverse, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius energy. Seven of Wands. Four of Pentacles in Reverse. This is the thing, you are open to this person coming forward and communicating with you, but you know that actually right now, it's more important that you give this person this space. And I feel like you are kind of very tapped in with this person. You know, even if you have a, a point where you may doubt yourself, you know that this person is going to be coming forward and speaking up 
when they're able to do so. And I feel like it's really important to kind of hold your stance here because you're coming across as someone who's um, very strong, very strong. You're not going to be so easily swayed by um, others. And you're not going to be pulled into any of the drama either. Especially if other people have been trying to bring you into some sort of drama and say things about you. Um, I feel like you're just handling it right now. Or you would do if something was to occur. But this person is wanting to make sure that that's not even something that you would have to kind of deal with that's why they're they're keeping their space but they've got an eye on you for sure yeah look five of pentacles with justice in reverse libra energy you may just feel like things are very unfair but look with this empress energy taurus and libra coming through divine feminine you are in your power you are in your strength okay like i was saying before you know um don't need to necessarily have the cards on the table for there to be the proof um, that what I was saying is right. I know that sounds a bit thingy, but you need to trust yourself, okay? You need to trust yourself. This is it. If you were to be in this mix with this person right now, okay, um, there would be more harm, uh, harm done, okay? More harm done. Emperor in reverse. This person knows who they are in relation to you and their connection. But potentially this person may not actually be physically available right now to have something more solid. And not just because, you know, oh, they're not interested in you or don't want you or anything like that. It's actually more to the point that they would love for you and them to kind of like be out of the cold when it comes to each other and be able to sit and talk and establish things. But there could be something maybe financially um, going on with this person, maybe yourself, maybe legally. Potentially, you're just putting all your work into your finances and you've been kind of feeling a little bit lackluster in relation to your career or your finances, but you're still persevering, um, trying to distract yourself. Everything is fine. Ten of Swords in reverse with the Queen of Cups. Yeah, this is the thing. You're trying to nurture yourself the best that you can right now and hold as much compassion and care and kind of um, love in your heart for this person and for this connection. But obviously things have been very difficult. Look at that with the Ace of Wands. You still have love and care and passion for this person. You still want to work it out with them. You still want to have something more stable with the King of Pentacles and you want that beginning, okay, with the Ace of Pentacles. You really do. Um, but I get that you're completely over it because there's most likely been the drama of a third party situation and your person may have been a bit cold here, okay? They may have been a bit quiet. They may have not necessarily opened up, but all they want to do is show you that you mean so much more to them and that they are taking a lot of steps here in order to change, okay? I'm hearing don't doubt the way that I feel for you. Don't doubt how I feel for you. What's the mutual energy here, please? And thank you. Yeah, look, Seven of Pentacles, you both have been thinking about this connection a lot. Judgment, Sagittarius energy, okay? You may have Sagittarius placements, your person does, or potentially both of you. Um, I'm getting the sense that you both know that there's something higher going on at play here in relation to this connection. But obviously... You know, it's not easy to go through what we have to go through in order to kind of to make the happy ever after. What's the mutual energy? Six of swords. Look, you both just want peace. You both just want peace. You both know that you're kind of being guided to each other right now. The lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. If there is anyone else in the mix, okay, that is causing of a, an influence, a negative influence, then it's a sense of having to detach. So maybe you're both doing this right now, whether it's romantically or platonically here, okay? So it could be friends, family, work colleagues, doesn't necessarily have to be lovers of sorts, okay? Magician in reverse, Gemini, Scorpio, uh, Virgo energy, and the Nine of Wands, See, this is it. You both have had to deal with very tricky, deceptive energy. 
and you will be able to move on away from this but you both have been wounded in the process okay and very confused with the seven of cups but i feel like the confusion is coming to an end things are being made evidently clear for you both final card the nine of swords yeah you both have had a lot of sleepless nights to do with this but look with the nine of pentacles um, you're both wanting to make sure that you are free and available for this connection together and to heal this but this person here with the emperor in reverse the hierophant in reverse taurus and aries energy with the knight of swords gemini libra and aquarius may come forward towards you and say look um i've had to go through the breakup the separation a divorce i had to leave a karmic partner or a karmic ex i had to get out of a a contract where i was bound to okay maybe they had to break a a soul contract a karmic soul contract with someone yeah where there was unrequited love maybe even a trauma bond of sorts and they've had to take the time to um to really look deeper as to why they kind of tolerated such a connection for such a long time maybe you've also had to kind of do your best here um with tolerating of something to a certain extent because maybe you felt like you had no choice in the matter regardless of whether that's romantic or not but you've done what you've done and so has this person in order to kind of survive and get um get the sense of clarity but i feel that overall you're both missing each other and feel on some level that you know you really both want this to manifest but potentially it may not necessarily be the right time as of right now for this to fully come into fruition and i feel like you know that deep down even though you both want of this because i feel like you're just feeling the desire just to have your moment of you know finding out exactly where you are with each other you know rather than having to find out through the grapevine as it were or maybe from friends of friends or online or whatever and I'm getting this overall impression of like, well, whatever you're seeing online, if there's a sense of perception of looking like, oh, well, they seem to be happy. Well, I'm really getting that strong indication that that's not true. It's just a kind of a front here. Um, maybe not to get you to worry so much about them or vice versa, however this resonates. Um, but as you know, with this, I could be reading, you know, for yourself or your love interest. And if you resonate more within this side, than this side then that's fine just switch it around but um yeah i'm getting the 7th of july the 5th to the 7th of july could be very significant maybe the 10th okay i'm wanting to say the 13th for some reason um the 6th the 13th the 16th and the 9th okay but 999 could be significant 555 777 and 1010 okay so that's going to be the end of the love portion of your reading um so just give me a few moments to kind of clear the energy and then we'll get straight into the career and finance finance short well, the finance and financial or aspect of your reading okay and have that question ready to ask and then i'll pull some cards for you okay um so give us a second thank you okay aries so we're going to get into this career and finance portion of your reading so we've got the same deck again with the modern witch tarot so let's shuffle a few times and then get your messages for you okay guys so angels of love and light could you please get clear and concise messages for career and finance for the first to the 16th of july 2023 what is aries needing to know please and thank you what is aries needing to know please and thank you now as i shuffle these guys um i'm gonna let the cards fall out where they may and sometimes this actually really does help with the um, the messages that are coming through. But obviously, when I go to do the extended readings, they will be all ne neatly kind of laid out in the way that they need to be so that um, I can clarify them properly. OK, Ace of Cups in reverse, kind of like spun in my hand. So maybe you've been feeling like you've kind of been chasing your tail or things have been, you know, in a spin here. OK. Maybe you've been kind of doubting um, certain aspects of your career. Maybe um, what does genuinely make you happy or what isn't making you happy. Yeah, look, with the Page of Cups, more water energy. So 
maybe you're kind of edging closer to a type of work that is going to be a lot more creative and maybe i'm hearing left field it's going to be something very different to what you may have done previously and there may be a few people who have um questions okay or curiosities about why you're making of these changes but i feel ultimately i'm hearing life is too short I'm hearing life is too short to not to do not do something that you love to do okay i'm getting that overall impression of like wanting to make sure that when you're going to work each day okay when you're getting up to go to work either commute to work or you know you work from home or however this resonates you don't feel like you're working a day in your life because you genuinely love what you do and you feel like you can fully express yourself in the way that you are wanting to and how to present yourself to everyone um, around you, okay? And having that sense of control in that by not being like overly controlling, but you're wanting that kind of rain in your life um, where you're like, well, I've done what I've done to please everyone else I'm hearing, okay? When it has come to my career, maybe you have children, okay, with the page of cups, potentially. And so there's the sense of being like, well, I need to do this. I need to do that to provide for my child or for my children. Um, and I feel like you may have a relatively firm sense of a foundation, but your heart is calling for you to do of something else or try to experiment with something else. I'm getting a sense of trial and tribulation. I'm hearing if at first you don't succeed, pick yourself off and try again. Dust yourself off and try again. I'm getting try again by Aaliyah. If at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. Yeah, I'm getting that. Hang one. Pisces energy. Yeah, you are looking at things completely different. You want to be in an environment where you feel like comfortable i'm getting comfortable to be yourself okay comfortable to be yourself you wanna you wanna make certain changes here where you are in control you see how this hang one okay someone else didn't tie this person up to this tree they most likely did it themselves because they wanted um to do so and it is maybe a bit quirky for people to look at this person and go well that seems a bit odd but i feel like you don't mind or you will soon not mind about whether people are questioning you if you're a certain way okay because i feel like it's got to the point where you understand a certain position that you're in okay and why you're in it and if other people don't get it, then that's fine. But you may have been very bothered by this at one point, but I feel like you couldn't care less anymore, okay? You couldn't care less anymore about other people's opinions, okay? Other people projecting their fears or their insecurity or their anxieties about, well, what about, I'm getting, I'm hearing, what about the mortgage? What about the pension? What about this payment? What about that? Yeah, that will all get resolved. And you're feeling more comfortable in knowing that look, I have something to kind of fall back on and I want to be able to pursue of this. But you may have dealt with people who have um, felt obviously very triggered or very uncomfortable with the fact that you may be expressing yourself in a different way. But I don't feel like it's a different way. I feel like this has always been you to your core, but you may have felt like you've never been um, comfortable or safe in order to do of this because certain people or certain influence around you for some sort of reason, whether that's society or, you know, what have you. Um, but I feel ultimately, I'm getting a very deep notion here of um, spiritual awakening or the dark night of the soul. So something spiritual may have happened, okay, for you. You may have gone through some sort of experience. Maybe you've received some, um, certain downloads, I'm wanting to say, okay, certain intuitive nudges that have made you feel like, yeah, this feels good and I want to do this, it may not necessarily look like it's going to be, you know, an overflow of abundance immediately, but it's going to work out, I have trust and faith that it's going to work out, okay, it's not going to be an overnight thing, but I feel like you know this, wow, 
you may be kind of like a i'm hearing like a baby in something like a novice like a beginner okay you could be reaching out to someone who could be more knowledgeable um in relation to the sense of spirituality or someone who may be quite tapped in here um and getting the sense of like asking for advice or maybe a, a question or it's like the sense of should i do this or should i do that in relation to a certain area of your career maybe but i feel ultimately you already know the answer but you just want to have that comfort in the fact that you get this answer from someone else who could potentially be more established in a certain area of expertise okay Ex expertise yeah emperor there's your energy guys yeah i was saying about reaching to someone else to be fair you could actually be be the one that people are coming to you okay there could be someone coming to you asking for your expert opinion your expert advice but this could be someone who who else could be an emperor in their own right here now i'm reading energy rather than gender or sex so it does not necessarily have to mean you know one way or another okay but yeah you could be a boss here okay could be a leader of sorts maybe a manager or you're someone of authority here or you're dealing with someone like that okay um but i'm getting this overall impression you see this emperor is very much like in the city kind of vibe you know very smart professional um i'm hearing like like a uniform like an outfit like they have to be dressed a certain way to kind of interact to be seen in some sort of way there's a sense of being very busy here okay um i'm getting the sense of being busy because you see how this person is probably it's just the way that they're looking out they're looking out at everything and they're probably thinking you know it's like they're a little bit away with the fairies they're sitting there they're busy in their mind but they could be just someone who's in their head a lot that thinks a lot about certain things and they kind of get drawn from one thing to another thing and they're like oh i need to do this i need to do that and so they just need a moment to themselves wow that's so funny i'm hearing mind palace like you know sherlock holmes with um benedict cumberbatch i'm hearing it's like oh just give me a, a moment watson i need to go to my mind palace and so it's a sense of someone who could be very intelligent here okay very switched on it's like they're out of the box thinking they've always been this way but potentially they've been kind of molded to be a particular way but now they want to really i don't know they just want to really get out of this kind of space of feeling like they're only kind of meant to be in one place or one area because that's not not that's not what's meant to be so interesting here guys what else what's going on for career and finances what else okay ace of swords there could be a brand new contract that's coming in for you okay you may have never thought you were going to have your new beginning but i feel like there's a lot that's happening here that you don't know yeah look judgment wow sagittarius energy this has all been divinely guided you've been waiting a while for your new beginning you could be someone who's um meant to be speaking up here sharing of your story you could be a writer of sorts or you're meant to be writing of something i just heard podcast podcast i heard radio um yeah, you're meant to travel here with the three of wands. You're meant to um, interact with people far and wide on a more, I'm hearing global scale. Ace of Pentacles, beautiful guys. Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. This is what we want out of a finance and career reading, okay? You're going to be receiving, I'm hearing ample opportunities ample opportunities of doors opening up for you large sums of money are getting ready to come into fruition you've been waiting for something okay and no it's not going to be like i'm just kind of talking as if it's some sort of fairy tale here guys like it is actually coming into fruition yes look it is coming into fruition with the knight of cups you know i'm not coming from a space of la la land okay um 
you know, there's a sense of balancing, there's a sense of balancing like a logical, analytical prospect or aspect of one's mind, um, but also integrating the sense of the creative, the emotive and spiritual aspect as well. And having this beautiful, like amalgamation of, you know, the physical and the non-physical coming together in a binding contract or multiple contracts, like soul contracts that are turning into physical business contracts okay if you know what i mean okay yeah it's going to be a bit out of the box here again as i was talking about before with the hierophant in reverse you're not meant to be you're meant to be doing lots of different types of things i'm hearing that saying um oh gosh jack of all trades master of none okay so maybe you've been someone that's interested in lots of little things and you're good at lots of little things and potentially you've even been you know criticized or judged for the fact that you haven't been an expert in one particular thing and done that the whole of your life but if you actually look into the the definition of the meaning of that particular you know phrase you know when people say it it's not actually the complete phrase okay i can't quite remember what it is at the top of my head right now but if you were to look at it there's actually, it's actually more beneficial to be of someone who is the jack of all trades rather than a master of just one, okay? Um, because the sense of, I feel like that's where, um, you know, the world is kind of, the world is changing. Like there's a sense of something generational going on here where it's actually like more people want to be having you know lots of different stokes in the fire and interest in lots of different things because we are we're multifaceted faceted like multifaceted beings and the moon look pisces energy again you do not see any of this coming in for you and you've been concerned here with the nine of wands you've been feeling very tired and burnt out but everything is going to be all right guys you have been receiving downloads in your dreams okay maybe your dreams are getting more vivid you could be writing down your dreams or you're getting messages in your dreams you know uh, what the next move is i'm getting lucid dreaming could be something that you might end up talking about or writing about here maybe you've had some sort of experiences like ever since you were a young child and that could be something that you're bringing out to the open and people want to know about it. Seven of Swords, King of Wands in reverse. I'm hearing, why don't you believe in yourself? Ten of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. You could have dealt with um, some sort of energy in your life, whether it is romantic or not where there has been a direct impact on to maybe you feeling a particular way about carrying out certain things that you've wanted to do, but you may have felt like, um, I don't know, like ashamed of it for some reason, but it's nothing to be ashamed of, but you've had someone or multiple people in your life, or I, I was getting of late, okay, that have made you um, feel like it's too late, or maybe you feel like, um oh you're you're not this and you're not that who do you think you're trying to be blah 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 but we're meant to grow we're meant to change we're not meant to stay the same forever because that's what our soul craves for yeah you're not meant to be the same forever you're closing out a cycle as i say that with the hermit so yeah there's definitely a sense of going from one lifestyle into another <clears throat> wow my voice got taken away and there's a sense of being comfortable about this and others seeing you differently like you see how different this emperor and the hermit is you know this is someone that you would see you know doing the kind of nine to five the the rat race the competitive kind of market and all of that to then someone who's just completely like in it and they know and see your things completely differently in relation to you know spirituality and why things are the way that they are and having such a different way about life okay yeah not necessarily putting all the focus on the coin here okay all about the money but obviously i feel here there's a lot of prosperity coming in for you but in, in ways that you don't see um 
that is going to be coming in or anything that you've done in the past like to be compared with okay but this is very overall very very positive energy so i just feel like the need to let you know that just because you go about things one time and you feel like it's going to be of a success it most likely will be but if it doesn't necessarily take off straight away or kind of produce what you have been hoping it would produce for example if you know you wanted to be out there more online okay and you wanted people to see you and you want them to see what you're all about what you're putting out there what you're providing and you make changes um and then potentially people are not kind of catching on as quick or they may not necessarily like the changes but it's not about whether people like or dislike the changes it's how you're feeling about the changes and if you feel good and feel confident about them then people naturally follow you know the confident leader here so if you're putting out an energy whereby you're like regardless of what happens whether i'm getting more of this or less of this more money or less money but i feel like it's right in myself of what i'm putting out there then you know no one is really there to question you or doubt you and you have that sense of coming across as you know i'm the one making the decisions here but yet i'm also like a messenger like i trust with whatever i'm putting out there is going to kind of come back around and it's going to multiply for me in the way that i want to eventually but it doesn't necessarily have to be an immediate effect for something to be successful okay you know some things that are worthwhile take time they really are and um, I feel like on that note, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pulling here with the angel answers. So if you have that question that you are wanting to ask, then I would ask that. And then what we can get for you. What can you get for Aries for the 1st to the 16th of July, 2023? What do they need to know? Um, what advice, guidance, reassurance can you get for them? So if you have your question, if you want to kind of say it in your mind. It's interesting because I've tried to pull one card, but sometimes they just kind of fall in my lap and then there's the indication that it's meant to be more than one. So what can we get here, please? It could be about anything, guys. It doesn't necessarily have to be about career or finance or love. It could be anything. Ooh. It's up to you. Wow. It's up to you. So if you've been wanting to make changes, it's up to you. Communicate clearly. And I feel one more. Dolphins and feathers could be very significant. Dolphins can be um, a representation of unconditional love. And I love the fact that these two are like mirroring each other. They're very kind of joyous, joyous and uh, playful kind of energy. So I'm getting this overall indication that there could be a really lovely... Um, Kind of romantic connection where you both just accept and love of each other there could be mirroring so there could be the sense of communicating clearly to do with a love connection potentially are getting drawn to that and finally get more information so i feel like you can see how this person is here and then if you go look a little bit closely, there's this some sort of like animal or a, there's something there, okay, that you can't quite see. There's something more that's not quite in, in the light as of yet. But you've got the answers. You've got the answers. Helpful people, beautiful and abundance. I felt needed to uh, pull that aside. So abundance and helpful people. So absolutely gorgeous. But anyway, that's going to be the end of the reading. So I hope you have enjoyed uh, this bi-weekly as much as I've enjoyed reading for you today. And I hope that there were some messages that resonate, if not in the whole reading. If you have enjoyed this reading and you did fancy supporting myself and the channel, there are donation links now available. So thank you so much to those of you who have already donated. I greatly appreciate you guys. Even if you do not financially donate, a great way to energetically donate is to like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll get back to you guys uh, relatively quickly on those comments so thank you if you haven't already i'd appreciate it if you can hit the notification bell so you guys get an alert as to when i post another video for you and also guys if you are interested in a membership then i do have a link in the description box below 
Um, there is the extended readings available as part of a membership if you would like to go and take a look. And we have uh, numerous perks available over there for you if you are interested. But I just want to say thank you to those of you who already purchased memberships. This means uh, a great deal to me. So thank you so much. Well, I hope you have um, a good couple of weeks and I'm speaking to you soon. And thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye for now.